money. So you want to bring make sure it's tight. Okay, I think I'd like to start by introducing myself. My name is uh, Johnson Kazungu. I'm director of Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute. Uh, Kenya Marine Res and, and Fisheries Research Institute is one of uh, the six national research institutions in Kenya. Uh, Kenya Marine, which is uh, in short called Kenfri, uh, has the mandate to conduct research uh, on marine and uh, fisheries in the, in the country. We have a staff strength of about 100 scientists. Uh, but some of the scientists are conducting uh, freshwater research. Uh, I think at the cost here we are about 40 scientists. About half of these 40 scientists have PhDs, uh, the rest have masters and, 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 and the first degree. We have a number of collaborative programs, uh, both nationally and internationally. Uh, for instance, we have a collaborative program with uh, Belgium, uh, Flanders Marine uh, Institute in Belgium. Uh, we recently received a uh, research vessel, oceanographic research vessel, which we intend to use. We have already uh, developed MOUs with a number of institutions on how to use uh, this research vessel. So we have a number of programs that are going on, and I think uh, this uh, idea of having the ocean teacher is a very, very welcome idea uh, because we believe uh, very many people are going to benefit, and the uptake of this particular program is going to be very, uh, very good for the country. Open the door. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Okay, yes, yeah. Good school, okay? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Alisha Mokai, the reverend in charge of Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute. This is a Kenya Marine reverend, which serves uh, marine and fresh water. For Kenzi, which is team, the stations are still the role of Kenya, one in Kisumu, Kigati, Sangoro, Turkana, Baringo, Naivasha, and Sagana. Mombasa is the headquarters for Kenya Marina Research Institute. We have uh, online uh, journal articles or journal titles from Agora and Wari. We also have a Kenfre Reprady Professor, which is uh, which we are using a great space, we have around 5,900 5, records. We also tackle resources or requests from other reprieves outside and within Kenya. We are also as far input center for quite a uh, long time since 1994. And we have, we have also various projects which are running, like Good Africa. This Kenya Coastal Development Project, for, which is being hosted by Kemfri, and many more. We also have uh, students who are in attachment, you can see quite a number here, which who usually come to the report to refer and uh, to be assisted on the research they are doing, and even members of staff. Okay, my name is Malkis de Kosore, I work for the Kenya Marine Fisheries Research Institute. Uh, the project I'm running here is called the Kenya Coastal Development Project. This is a World Bank funded project that began on the 11th of November 2011. The program basically uh, intends to assist the coastal communities of Kenya to have uh, to make maximum use of their resources by conducting small community projects and uh, also the projects provide funding for university students at like master's level <coughs> And that uh, at BSc, so they can study courses that are relevant to the natural resource management and community service. This project uh, is run under Kenfri, but in collaboration with seven other institutions of the Kenya government. And so far, uh, since we began, we have funded up to 50 uh, community projects to the tune of 60 million, and we have supported um, around 54 masters and uh, BSc students to complete their, their, their degree and uh, some of these students that have finished the degree we are actually attaching them to the project uh, here in Mombasa and also to the other project offices in, uh, in the partner agencies, Kenya Wildlife Services, Kenya Forestry, South Forestry and uh, the, <coughs> the Fisheries Department so that they actually use their training that they had and the, 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 their academic knowledge to entrain uh, the Kenya Cultural Development projects into their own institutions. It's a very popular project now, and we have uh, 
brought in the county governments and the governors who are actually assisting in making sure that the coastal community has a big contribution in the Kenyan coasts. Thank you very much. Afai, uh, this is the wet lab uh, uh, section. Uh, and the entire area we are carrying out what we call uh, issues to do with uh, fish farming. And generally, we have uh, three types of fish species within uh, our culture facilities. And then what we generally do is that we want to make a fire for uh, these fish uh, to the farmers. So generally, there is an issue which has come in in terms of uh, innovation that is on the first growth of the fish. And we are advocating for what we call the culture of male fish. And the male fish, in this case, are the Nile tilapia male fish. We call them the monosex seed production, which essentially has been found uh, to be doing very well within minimal time, so that at the end of the day, the farmers can have, you know, uh, desirable results within a short time. So we are carrying out what we call seed production in terms of, you know, having, reproducing only males within these five years, within these enclosures. Here yeah, we basically carry research within the water columns, we take the samples that the plantons. Once we take the plantons, we do classify them into two. Into two we have the soup plantons and we have the phytoplanktons. Where most of the work that we carry around here deals with the analysis of the, how we identify organisms and we classify them into different species. Uh, the machines that help us in doing some of this work, uh, we have the microscope. This is the dissecting microscope, which we use in the basic identification of organisms. Then, uh, <coughs> uh, like now, you can see that they are doing some work on bending, they are trying to sort them out so that after sorting them out we can easily identify them into different species. Then on this side here, uh, this is a combined microscope which assists us in uh, when you want to sketch an organism you can easily sketch that organism by the use of this We will come you into the natural product and post-harvest technology lab. Here basically what we do with is we deal with food. We deal uh, with fish in two ways. That is to say for smoking as a process and uh, solar drying as a process. This kind of technology used to be there even before, and what they are trying to do is to improve the technology so that uh, it is done in a, a more scientific way and uh, with the highest hygienic standard. So, if you look at the diagrams, uh, what is up is the traditional way the our fathers used to do it, which was not environmental friendly. They used, they used to cut a lot of trees in order to process their products. But if you look at it keenly, it was not really the actual smoking. What they were doing was more of roasting than smoking. The difference between roasted product and uh, smoked product, the roasted product self life is not guaranteed. It has got short shelf life, but smoked product has got extended shelf life. So we came up with the improved technology, that is to say the, the, the smoking cane, which is environmental friendly, consumes a lot, uh, very few wood fuel. Yeah, petrol meter, and this is fisheries lab. Okay, we deal with stock assessment, fish. And under stock assessment, we look at the biological aspect of the fish and the population dynamics. So under the biological aspect of the fish, we take the gonads, we look at the maturity stages, 
and the sex, we also look at the sex of the fish. From that you can get the fecundity information of the fish. And then we also do a fish identification, whereby we use various manuals and identification keys to identify the various species that are brought here from the field work. Yeah, that's majorly what we do in this laboratory. Yes, my name is Sigeb Batanisi. I'm a rap technician attached in the new Newton's laboratory. Uh, and the Newton's laboratory, it is one of the laboratories which supports the, the aquatic life, maybe by doing the analysis of the knowing to, to try to know the the body to, uh, the deposition or the volatility indicator in the aquatic life. And usually what we do the, the parameters which we do analyze it's uh, nitrogen in terms of uh, the ammonia and the nitrates are uh, using reduction color and phosphorus that is uh, phosphate. Yeah, my name is Dismas Kosien. I'm a technologist in the instrumentation laboratory. So at the instrumentation laboratory we do two things. We take care of the physical oxygenography and the equipments related to it. We also receive, install and maintain equipment in all the other laboratories you have gone through. It's like a maintenance laboratory. I'm a intern in Kempe. I'm sure I'm working here in the microbiological lab. We do the water quality of the marine and uh, any other water body that is uh, in Kenya. So we collect samples from the field, come and analyze them here. We check for the mic uh, microbial quality of the water. If the water is good for consumption or for any other activity in the, for the fish, then we can give recommendations to the responsible institutions. Um, here the, the machines that we work with. We have the laminar floor where we do our microbiological work. We have the incubator where we incubate the microorganisms. We have another laminar floor here. Uh, and we have other two incubators. We have the oven here for drying and sterilizing some of the equipment we will see. Uh, my name is Sam Ngete, acting head of computer department at Kenya Marine Fisheries Research Institute. Uh, this is our young department having been formed six months ago. Uh, this is, and the institute is implementing the strategic plan for 2012 and 20 to 2015. The functions of this department is to implement policy and uh, strategic plan for ICT and also to provide uh, hardware and uh, software support for the scientists. This is a cross-cutting department that uh, provides uh, support for research and administration. In the next few clips, uh, we are going to show you the activities of uh, ICT department in Kenya Marine Field Science Institute. My name is Edna Mpunde, one of the system administrators of Kenfri and the ICT department. This is our server room, which hosts uh, more than five servers, uh, hosting different databases, including uh, uh, international projects. Uh, most of the servers we have here are the email server, uh, we have the start base server, we have the proposed ODP regional server and uh, a start based server that, will, that is hosting the uh, databases for the former international project for World Bank, which is called CFP. So uh, this is where we have all our connections to all uh, the, 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 the whole of the, this building and even connecting to the other uh, the ocean center. and. Uh, we, we have a, a, a good backup in terms of power. We have an inverter here 
that protects our servers in case of uh, power outage. The inverter takes around eight hours when uh, there is a power outage. So, uh, and in terms of security, we are using a cyber room to protect our servers from attack from outside and even from within. So far, that's what I can say about our cyber room. Uh, my name is Harrison Onganda. I'm the national coordinator for the Kenya National Personal Data Center, which is housed in Kenfrey. Um, we are very pleased to have the visiting delegation to, to, to this center. Uh, and I think the next uh, few clips will uh, demonstrate some of the activities uh, that go on in this center, including um, some very key linkages with the ongoing development projects in the Kenyan coastal area. Uh, my name is Edna Ongundi. I'm the data manager for this data center. And uh, what we do here, we use various tools in processing uh, our data, uh, like GIS tools. And uh, one of our, uh, my duties is to ensure that those students in, and, uh, attached to this department are able to get the, 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 the right tools, the softwares to use in processing this data so that we have end products like what we're having on, the, on our walls here. Uh, we use various tools like uh, uh, GIS, uh, tools like what we, we, we are having on our walls here, we, we were using Saga to process uh, the oceanographic data layers that uh, We've already produced that is uh, the, the from phosphate to chlorophyll and to the SST that was from the ocean. Uh, we have many students on internship that are helping us to carry out our act activities in <coughs> in the data center. I'm also in charge of the development of the African Marine Atlas. And, uh, We've already uh, compiled the, 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 our layers to form the regional uh, marine atlas that is already now in, for the whole of Africa. The atlas contains features that include fishing areas, hotspots, and uh, even the, the coastal uh, hotels areas where you can find fishing spots. My name is Nina Mbidi and uh, I work at Kemfi, the fisheries program, but I also have some tasks under the information and data management uh, program. Here I'm the manager for the marine species, so what I do is that I collect all the information from uh, all marine species that have been worked on along the Kenyan coast or anywhere within Africa and I contribute this data to the OBIS database and also we remove some species and take them to the new website that has been launched, the African Register of Marine Species. So we work with a team of uh, interns and the library. The library specifically gives us a list of publications from this space. So from these publications, they give them to students who pick out all the scientific names of species, the uh, place, locality, and the lat longs, and um, the depth where this work has been done and put this into a schema, the OBIS schema, submit this data to OBIS and also to AFRINAS.